Ever wondered how the glass in your windows, your car, even your smartphone came into existence? It's a question that's likely crossed your mind, but perhaps you've never delved into the answer. The truth is, glass is a part of our everyday lives, so much so that we often overlook its presence. Yet its creation and use have a rich history and a fascinating process that goes largely unnoticed. So what is glass? At its most basic, glass is a transparent hard substance created by the application of intense heat to sand or silica, but it's far more than that. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the power of transformation. It's the product of fire and earth, molded by human hands into shapes and forms that serve countless purposes. From the simple window pane that lets in the morning sunlight, to the intricate touchscreen of your smartphone, glass is everywhere. It's in the mirrors that reflect our image, in the lenses that help us see the world more clearly, and in the screens that connect us to the digital world. The creation of glass is a journey that begins with the most basic of elements and ends with a product that has become integral to our modern lives. This journey involves a fascinating blend of science, art, and craftsmanship, a process that has been refined and perfected over thousands of years. But where did it all start? How did we come to discover this remarkable material? And how do we transform something as ordinary as sand into something as extraordinary as glass? These are the questions that we will explore as we delve into the mystery of glass. So, as we stand on the precipice of this journey, let's take a moment to appreciate the glass that surrounds us in our daily lives. Let's marvel at the complexity hidden within its simplicity and the beauty that lies within its transparency. Prepare to embark on a journey to demystify the process of glassmaking. Glass, an invention that dates back to 3500 BC, has a creation process as clear as the material itself. The origins of this captivating material take us back to the ancient river valleys of Mesopotamia and Egypt, where it was first discovered. Originally, glass was a luxury item, a precious material reserved for the elite. It was believed that the early methods of glassmaking involved coating sand with a soda-lime silicate mixture and then heating it until it became molten. Once cooled, the result was a crude form of glass, which was often shaped into beads or small figurines. However, it wasn't until around 1500 BC, in the coastal regions of Syria and Egypt, that the first hollow glass containers were produced. Craftsmen there developed a technique called core forming. This involved shaping a core of clay, covering it with molten glass, and then, once cooled, removing the core to leave a hollow vessel. This was a significant milestone in the history of glass as it opened up a whole new range of possibilities for its use. Over the centuries the art and science of glassmaking continued to evolve. The Romans played a major role in this evolution, developing the technique of glass blowing around the 1st century BC. This process, which involves inflating molten glass into a bubble with the aid of a blowpipe, revolutionized the production of glass objects making it faster and more cost-effective. It also allowed for the creation of more complex shapes and designs. Fast forward to the Industrial Revolution in the late 18th century, and we see the birth of mechanized glass production. This was a game-changer. It meant that glass, once a luxury only the rich could afford, became a commonplace material. It was now within reach of the masses. From the ancient river valleys of Mesopotamia and Egypt to the modern factories of today, the journey of glass has been a fascinating one. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge and innovation. Now, let's break down the intriguing process of glassmaking. Transforming simple raw materials into transparent, durable glass involves a series of carefully orchestrated steps. This craft, perfected over centuries, is as much a science as it is an art. Firstly, it begins with the selection of raw materials. The primary ingredient is sand, specifically silica sand which comprises over 70% of the final product. But sand alone doesn't make glass. Other ingredients like soda ash and limestone are added to lower the melting point of the sand and add durability. These raw materials are carefully weighed and mixed together to form what we call a batch. Once the batch is ready it's time for the heating process. The mixture is placed into a furnace which is heated to a staggering temperature of over 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hotter than molten lava. At these intense temperatures, the batch transforms into a molten state, a glowing river of liquid glass. After the glass has fully melted, it's time to give it shape. The molten glass is collected on the end of a long pipe where it's gently blown and spun into the desired form. 
This stage requires immense skill and precision as the glassmaker must work quickly before the glass cools and hardens. But we're not done yet. After the glass has been shaped, it undergoes a process known as annealing. This involves slowly cooling the glass to room temperature in a special oven called a layer. This step is crucial to remove any stress points that may have formed during the molding process, ensuring the finished product is strong and durable. Finally, the glass is inspected for any imperfections. Any bubbles, cracks, or unwanted marks are buffed out. What remains is a perfectly crafted piece of glass, ready to be used in countless ways, from windows and mirrors to bottles and decorative items. The result of this intricate process, the crystal clear glass we use daily. This seemingly simple material is the product of an art form, honed over centuries, and continues to play a vital role in our everyday lives. From skyscrapers to smartphones, glass has become an integral part of our modern world. This versatile material has transformed our daily lives and landscapes. In construction, glass structures define our city skylines, letting in natural light and providing panoramic views. Its strength and transparency make it a preferred choice for architects and builders. In technology, glass is at the heart of many of our devices. It's found in screens of smartphones, laptops, and TVs offering clarity and touch sensitivity. Glass fiber optics enable high-speed internet connectivity bringing the world closer together. In the art world, glass continues to inspire. From intricate sculptures to stained glass windows it offers a unique medium for expression, capturing light and color in captivating ways. In our homes, glass is in our windows, dishes and mirrors, quietly making our lives easier and more comfortable. Glass, a testament to human ingenuity, continues to shape our world in transparent and profound ways. Today we've journeyed through the fascinating world of glass. We've unveiled the mysterious origins of this transparent marvel, traced its birth in fiery furnaces, and appreciated the intricate artistry involved in its creation. We've also seen how glass, once a luxury, is now a cornerstone of modern life, shaping our world in countless ways, from windows to smartphone screens. So next time you peer through a glass window or swipe your smartphone screen, remember the incredible journey that piece of glass has undergone to reach you.